Hello everyone and welcome to Chat with Nene Alice. This is your first time tuning in to Chat with Nene Alice. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like and don't forget to drop your comments because together we can all improve on this channel. I also want to welcome you to our, our special session or our special edition on Valentine's Day which is titled All You Need to Know About Valentine's Day. Valentine has been told for centuries now, but nowhere in this history tale does it justify whether romantic holidays are meant for men or for women or simply for both men and women. Some people are embracing Valentine's Day because they love to celebrate love and I also I like to celebrate love. Some people are afraid of, of celebrating St. Valentine's Day because they feel obligated to prove their uh, affection to a significant somebody. A third group of people will forgo the day altogether because it means not having to once again face a longing that is unfulfilled. For example, some people will not want to celebrate St. Valentine's Day because they don't have somebody to show their love to. And some people will see it as a burden. Okay? But I want to talk about some of the things that you need to know. First of all, the holiday has been hijacked and it has been turned into a profit-making holiday. Valentine's Day has a complicated past and present, but it began with a purer motive. It was very genuine at the beginning. The exact details of St. Valentine's are a bit muddy. A few different Roman saints who were martyred or perhaps who were killed between the 3rd and the 5th century, who could have been St. Valentine's? These saints are the source of tradition of encouraging love and writing Valentine's, which the holiday exhibits today. Perhaps the sole remaining untinted practice. Okay? And um, later on, the festival was, you know, turned into some kind of way. On that day, people were notoriously drinking and getting drunk. Some people were having naked parties in pursuit of celebrating um, love or celebrating the blessings of fertility. But only a few years ago, a few hundred years ago, that it was turned into a holiday where people were using it as business and people are convincing us to buy cards, sweets, flowers and other commercialized gifts. We risk taking holidays for granted when we ignore historical roots. And cash, cash in on an hypersexual version that satisfies our improper cravings of greed and lust. Secondly, it places romance over other kinds of love. We know we have other kinds of love. We have motherly love, we have brotherly love, we have friendship love, and all of that. Okay? But the thing is, our culture, today's culture, is sex obsessed. And romance seems to always get the spotlight. So as long as love or, um, is associated with romance, it will get the required spotlight that it needs. There are far less acknowledgement of slow, steady work of loving a spouse and, and your children day by day or year after year. We have Mother's Day and Father's Day, but these get much less buzz than Valentine's brotherly and sisterly affections are rarely worth mentioning. You are unlikely to see an entire month of commercials and merchandise leading up to maybe like Friendship Day, which is August 3rd. And uh, some of us, we have never heard about Friendship Day, which is August 3rd, but know that August 3rd is Friendship Day, by the way. Romance is a wonderful thing, but there are different kinds of love. So why act like romance is better than the other kinds of love? We have mother's, mother's love, we have father's love, we have sister's love, and brother's love. Each has its place. So we shouldn't elevate one at the expense of the other. Thirdly, it has turned into Singleness Awareness Day. You know, when I told my kids that um, they have transformed Valentine's Day into Singleness Awareness Day, they were laughing and they, were, they wanted to know what it is when I, you know, when I said that. 
Every person who doesn't have someone special knows when Valentine's Day hits. So, for example, if I don't have a boyfriend or I don't have a girlfriend or I don't have a loving husband or a loving wife, Valentine's Day is not meant for me. Because the way the media has taken over Valentine's Day, the internet and the way, you know, people talk about it everywhere you go, Valentine, Valentine, and the way it has been glorified. It's as if people who do not have boyfriends or do not, do not have girlfriends, it's a time for them to have their own, you know, relationship. So it has been transformed into singleness awareness. There is nothing wrong with celebrating love, but a person's value cannot be rated on their relationship status. So for example, I should not feel isolated when it's time to celebrate Valentine's Day because I do not have a boyfriend or I do not have a girlfriend. So why do we make such a big deal over that day and exclude and we try to exclude other people from participating? You know, because it's meant for all of us to celebrate love. As a favor to unattached single people in our social circles, let's stop using love as a dividing factor rather than uniting all of us. So I want to encourage you that do not have a boyfriend or a girlfriend to say that Valentine's Day is meant for everybody to express love in various forms. Okay, so don't feel isolated because you don't have a boyfriend or you don't have a girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Fourthly, it makes expression of love seem reserved for special occasions. And I wonder why. You know, some people will not express their love until it is Valentine's Day. Couples have several holidays they are expected to celebrate their, loves, their love in a certain way. For example, if I am married on my anniversary, we can celebrate our love we can go out for a fancy dinner and at christmas with the family we can spend quality time together at new year's new year's eve when the year is we are going into a, a new year you know we can all kiss ourselves hug ourselves towards midnight to wish everybody happy new year sometimes it seems like if they just do the right thing on anniversary birthdays and valentine's day and the like they are good to go for the rest of the year and expression of love cannot be linked to just few days in the year. Expression of love is meant to go right throughout the year. So a healthy relationship includes communication of love far more than a few times in a year. It should be regular interaction of intentional affection and service between couples or between, you know, boyfriends and girlfriends. Not wait for Christmas Day, not wait for Valentine's Day, and not wait for Mother's Day, not wait for Father's Day. You can celebrate your love right through the year. Every day, it's a love day. Likewise, all the hype around Valentine's Day encourages men to express their love with roses and chocolate. So if I'm in love with you, can't you give me roses and chocolates, even if it's not Valentine's Day? While there is nothing inherently wrong with this, sometimes they are the perfect gifts. There are so many different ways to communicate affection. So affection should not just be limited to, you know, I need to get you a flower on Valentine's or I need to get you a box of chocolates. Honest affection is communicated through intentional acts, specifically for one person at a particular time that you are in a relationship with. So two people's date or get married because they share something unique with each other or with one another. So such powerful love should you know, should be right around the year and should not be limited to just roses and chocolate. So let us don't look at Valentine's Day from, from perspectives that are not, that, you know, that are not appropriate. We have, we can celebrate love right through the year. We, we should not wait for Valentine's Day before we celebrate love. Okay. And we cannot limit our love to just few days within the year. It should be right around right around the year okay so this is what you know i think i should say on such a very important day particularly in people who love love like me i love love so let's enjoy ourselves celebrate love and let's just don't limit our love celebration to just valentine's day let us celebrate love right through the year and let us don't limit our gifts for love just to chocolate and roses we can give any other kind of digest this you know and you know, send your feedback so that we you know, continue the conversation on this so if this is your first time tuning in don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and don't forget to drop a comment because together we can only do this channel so i wish you all the best
guests on Valentine's Day enjoy and have fun.